Hi guys, I'm Paddy Smith. I'm down here today at Bisham Abbey Natural Sports Centre as part of the At Coach and Inspire hockey coaching team. Today we're going to be looking at what life's like as a goalkeeper, what I think is important when coaching goalkeepers, how to put the goalkeeping kit on, and hopefully you'll pick up some tips too. Okay, so we're going to have a little look at what a goalkeeping kit entails and how to make sure you put it on properly. So we're going to start through just going through each individual item. So first place to start is the Astros. It's really important before you put your goalkeeping kit on to get yourself a decent pair of Astros, same size as your trainers, they don't have to be bigger, okay, with a good tread underneath to make sure you've got plenty of grip when you're moving around, especially on a sand or water base, okay, it can be a little bit slippy at times. Um, okay, so once you've got those on, most important piece of kit, the box, okay, or groin guard for females, okay. Um, always get the best one possible, don't compromise on safety on this piece of kit. And then we've got the undershorts, padded shorts, you can get different types, but it's really important to make sure that basically the front of you protects on, on the quads and also the side of the hips, either side with these bits here, making sure when you dive around you're not going to get any bruises um, for when you fall on the floor. Um, once you put those on, you want to get yourself a good solid pair of overshorts. Okay, these go over the top, uh, which are quite solid on the sides here, making sure that your actual pads don't get ripped, especially on a sand-based pitch and should help you slide a bit more on a water base too. You can get different colours, it, it's not a specific goalkeeper piece of equipment, so you can just wear really big shorts as well. Okay, next piece of kit, and this varies greatly from different brands to brand. Um, these are high control kickers, which add a lot of extra protection. As you can see here, this is the most important part of the kit, protecting the insole of your foot when you're making saves or kicking the ball. So make sure you get them this way around, okay, because it's important that these little stickers or browning bits don't interfere with how the ball rebounds once you make a save. After that, we've got leg guards. These are pretty substantial for when you're smothering, coming out and making big tackles. Go up this way around, this way around, and you've got two straps at the back, pretty straightforwardly, coming across in like this, coming across in like this. Then we've got, after that, a bit more of the upper body kind of stuff. So we've got a chest pad, okay, again, Pretty solid, got some metal in here, but foam covering over the top. Don't really compromise too much on safety. You can get smaller ones, okay? You can get bigger ones as well. It's kind of trading off that balance between how quickly you can move around in the goal, but first and foremost, it's about safety and protection, and that'll give you confidence when you're in goal too. After that, we've got arm pads. Well, these are probably a bit more like elbow pads. You can get smaller ones, and you can certainly get a lot bigger ones. After that, we've got the hand pads. I use a high rebound one, okay, and it's pretty solid, making sure that you can deflect the ball out wide. Long gone are the days where it's just leather hand pads where you're deflecting the ball down or catching it even. It's all about getting the ball away nice and quickly. Solid left hand as well, high rebound as well. Very similar, nice solid foam, can deflect the ball out wide, okay, and it's a good surface area trying to stop the ball. I actually use a slightly different glove when I do penalty shuffle competitions. This one allows me to get my stick a little bit closer to the ground. That's a little bit of a technical point, not something that all goalkeepers will necessarily like to do, but it just allows me when I'm going reverse stick to get my stick nice and close to the ground as well. So there are differences between gloves and different ways you can make a save. After that, we've obviously got the stick. I quite like to use an outfielder stick like this one. Um, it's 36 and a half, so you can use 37 and a half as well. Quite like to use a light stick, okay, because it allows me to move quickly and make good saves in the air or dive down and make interceptions. Some goalkeepers use a goalkeeping stick where it's got a little kink in the end here. That's also fine. I used one of those for several years. Some of the international goalkeepers like Nicholas Jacoby uses one. It just gives you a little bit more surface area here, okay, but perhaps not quite as good for slapping or hitting the ball away once you've made a save. After that, we've got our smock or our top. I quite like to use a long sleeve one so it covers my arm pad so it keeps everything in place. Um, and also I think it looks a little bit better as well. Um, used to use short sleeve ones, they obviously give you a little bit more breathing because um, when it's hot you can obviously get quite um, hot temperatures and all that sort of thing so it just lets your um, pads breathe a little bit easier. Um, you can get really baggy ones, some people like quite be tight fitted to make sure the kit stays in place. I've probably got somewhere in between the two. Last but not least, most important piece of kit is the helmet. Okay, 
There are lots of helmets on the market which aren't properly tested for safety, uh, making sure it's got a nice solid grill on the front. I've got a little bit of tape across the top, that acts as a sun visor when we're playing evening games. You can also get other ones which fit a little bit better than that, but that works for me. And it's also pretty solid, so if you get whacked, the ball should bounce off and shouldn't hurt your head.